we've seen this before. One heck of a burn circle, but it's caused old Mr. Badger right here. And uh, he's just kind of sitting there. He's not really very aggressive. Boy, he tore this up. Had a coyote here three or four mornings ago. Gosh, that's, I think I've caught more badgers this year than ever. What do you think, Ammo? You gonna sniff him? Stay here, Ammo. All right. Got another badger. Just went down the road about a mile from I caught the other one. Look at look at what he did. He tore the hell out of this. God, them badgers are destructive. But I had this big old cat here yesterday. Caught that big old tomcat right here. This hadn't hit anything in 10, 12 days. Now back to back, bobcat now badger. So I'm sure Mark and David's gonna be glad to get him out of here. Well, got the first cat of the morning. Yeah. He's a young cat, yeah. but he's got an attitude. I set these old opening day and uh, they came in here and they planted this and they ran over these traps. Luckily, I got them worked and, uh, well, he's got a, he's got a little attitude. What do you think, little guy, huh? Anyway, first cat of the morning, whole front foot in a Duke 650. I didn't let my dog out. I was afraid he was gonna eat him, so. Got another double here where I had the two coon the other morning. Same morning I had all those bobcats. So. One of them's hiding, but there's two of them there. We're pulling these. It's gotten so muddy I can't get back here, so. Frozen this morning though. I'll get them pulled and they'll set a new line tomorrow. Well, this is a surprise this morning. We're down about 20, 28, 27, I don't know. We had almost an inch of rain and everything's froze plumb down. I had everything salted, but you get them kind of disc conditions and snow and everything, but got me a big old male coat where I had one here the other morning. So we're pulling these. I'm gonna try to regroup and try to get part of a new line out tomorrow and Sunday. So been a mess, but we're, we're still going along, so keep fighting. Well, this is a welcome sight first thing this morning. I thought most of my traps were froze down. It's Saturday morning. I'm gonna get everything dug up and boy, he's uh, he's peeing all over and all over everything. Look at him. He's leaving me some really good scent here. Anyway, it's like, a, oh, I don't know. Maybe a young male, he's pretty dark. So we're gonna get everything dug up after all that storm we had and moisture and gonna get everything working and set a few more places today. Well, that's a good start of the morning. I almost pulled these yesterday. I'm still driving by here. I still haven't caught a coyote here, but this is the second cat in this set. And this is a spotted little old, boy, oh, that's a spotted cat. Wow. Can't tell if it's a tom or a female, but it is a pretty little old cat. Hung up in a MB550. What a beautiful cat. Well, I just got that cat out of that trap. I got me another double on coon and dog proofs. That one there is kind of hiding. Well, this one's a big old boar. I think they were fighting. I could hear them fighting over here. I just rebaited these yesterday, so. Good start of the day. Well, I'm on my last stop. I just set these dog proofs here yesterday. It's at a pit silo. The farmer told me to make sure I set some traps here. They're digging in the silo. I got two out of three, so. See my other dog proof there, but I got a couple nice, oh, they're young coon, but they're real furred out. Everything's fully primed now, so. Another double on the coon, the end of the day. Thanks for watching.
Early morning, about 7, 7.30, hooked our first coyote of the morning and we pulled up here and there was two more ran off. These were the sets that I put in before the season and uh, they came in here and drilled this and it met, kind of messed it up, but I got them working and uh, anyway, pretty nice little young coyote in an MB550, but it's muddy. We had a inch of rain, inch of snow. We're doing what we can do, so anyway, we're gonna get him down. Ammo just about got a piece of him. Ammo dove right in here. Another nice coyote. Got a kind of a road going through the timber out to a wheat field. I can't tell if it's a male or a female. Good looking. Good looking coyote. I got a big bone here. Caught a possum here yesterday, tore it all up, but got a nice one here this morning. Third coyote of the morning. Looks like a young male. He's pretty dark. He's in a MB650. He's kind of being kind of passive. But uh, we got a bean field here in a hedgerow, and that stuff runs right up down along here. There's tracks all up and down here after that rain. So I just set these traps two mornings ago. So second night catch, and we caught that last one there. It just, I just set these. So we got to hook up quite a few here this week. So I'm going to stay in here a week, and then I'm going to move on. So nice looking young dog. What you got there, Justin? Well, looks like we got us another coon. Gary's been having fun with all the coyotes today and we've been catching the coon too. So, got one right here. Got a creek running around here with a uh, old pit silo up here. And uh, got some coon cuffs in here with a little predator poaching on them and they're hooking them up. And I had two, I had a double here yesterday and then we had a double today, but the other one was a possum, so. Uh... Anyway, last stop, we're gonna get him down and gotta head head back. I gotta get to work. Good job, Justin. Well, it's uh, opening rifle season here in Kansas and I haven't really rifle hunted much since I've been bow hunting the last three or four years. But my son-in-law borrowed my rifle to go to Texas last year and he said, damn it, Kistler, the gun's off. I guess he was right. Shoot to the left. Made a little adjustment and I got it to the right. So anyway, I'm gonna shoot a couple more times and see what happens. So I got done sighting in my 30 out six. And there's these damn armadillos out here digging around in the hay field. You know what? When you hit a armadillo with a 30 out six, there's not much left. He didn't even budge. So anyway, I shot him and I looked over here and there's another one. So we're gonna go get a shot of him too. So I guess I'm sighted in, got two dead dillers at about 75 yards a piece. So if I can hit a diller at 75, I'd be able to hit a big old buck at 100, 150. There's more damage. I swear I didn't realize these guys were tearing this stuff up like this. They've been tearing up a food plot, but I haven't been out here in hay meadow. Anyway, here's diller number two. Oh yeah, I kind of, I kind of split him in half almost. Deserves your right, little diller, digging up, tearing shit up. All right, I'm all sided in. I'm gonna go see if I can't go kill me a big old buck tonight. Let's start of the morning. Where have we seen this before? Look at this hole. And I got Mr. Badger in the hole. Oh, he dug this up. My friend Kyle, who's a farmer, got an irrigation pivot out here and he said there'd been a badger digging out here and damned if he was and I caught him the second night. Bet you'll be happy. Well, he sure tore the shit out of this this morning, though. Well, 
You don't see this every day. I put this set here on along this timber line, along this wheat field, and I caught a coyote in the timber in here yesterday, but got me a red fox. Boy, he's a pretty little thing. And my dog doesn't know what to think. I could turn my dog loose on this guy because he's actually bigger than that, but I wouldn't do this on a coyote, but anyway. Hey, <laughs> woo, we had a little confrontation. Anyway, you'll learn ammo. All right, we're gonna get him. Well, we're right here along the turnpike, as you can see and hear the traffic, and I went about 200 yards from I got the red fox, and I got me a, it's like a young female coyote. Boy, she tore this up. Anyway, I had to watch my dog. He wanted to dive in there. I ain't never trapped in here. I had permission in here and just never got in here. I'm, anyway, beautiful little coyote. If I could got him in the front foot. So. I gotta get out of the... Well, I finally connected in this spot. Looks like a big old male. Hind footed him. He don't look very good, but uh, he got frost all over him. But anyway, he's that cold. Get out of there, Ammo. Ammo, get out of there. Anyway, I'm gonna get him down before he tries to get a piece of my dog. He was barking at me when I first got here, but big old male coyote, start the day. First trip. <laughs> there you go. This is a nice surprise, early, early. Sun's not up yet. I just hooked a big old coyote in a place that I hadn't caught nothing in almost three weeks. And this is along the river. And I got me a big old tomcat. Man, he looks spotted too. Wow. I just love these cats. I hope you guys like watching these cats because I sure are hanging them up. I've caught two females in here, now I've got the big tom. And my dog, Ammo, wants to get in there. And I don't want him to have no part of this cat. Because this cat would eat him alive. He's pretty calm. There you go, show me your teeth. All right. Got him in a MB550 front foot catch. Wow, look at the belly on this cat. He's a big old Tom. God, he's a nice cat. What a way to start the morning. Big old male coyote that I hadn't caught nothing there for almost three weeks. And this is a third cat in here along the river. Hang out guys. Stay tuned, we're moving on down the line. Well, Predators must have moved last night. It didn't get down about 30s all, but uh, we got a front coming in tonight and more. And uh, hooked me up this little old male, dark young coyote here. I caught one here when Emmett was with me. Been waiting to hit here for another week or so, and it's finally producing again. So uh, anyway, looks like he's in a big old KO extreme, and uh, we're going to... Get him taken care of and move on down the line. Stay tuned. Well, coyote number three of the morning, they moved last night. I had one here uh, the day I had four coyotes and four bobcats. I hadn't hit here for several days, but uh, nice looking coyote. Real nice looking coyote and an MB550. Top of this terrace and this opening here along a grass patch and there's a cornfield they planted the wheat. Sun's coming up good. It's gonna be a beautiful day, everybody. Stay tuned, we're still moving on.